to our YouTube channel. Today we are showing you around this incredible five bed detached property located in Barnes. So we're on the west side of London today, about 10 miles into the central. And um, Matt's behind the camera at the start of this tour. Hey guys. So as you can see behind me, this property is the coolest interior, definitely mine and Matt's vibe um, that we've seen since we've started touring properties. So we've been touring lots of luxury properties around the UK for the past few months, so go check them out. But yeah, this is probably our favorite interior, right? Yeah, for sure. So let's head over and on the right hand side, we've got the living area. Yeah, so this is the living room and it's sectioned off with crittled black paneling glass. So we've got it here and also back there. Love this black paneled glass. Yeah, keeps the whole house so bright and yeah. you'll notice that as we go throughout the tour. Yeah, and we've got this huge plant. It's the I same size, oh it's bigger than me. you. Yeah. That's um, cool, I like that. I literally love plants in the house so much. So we've got a fireplace here. I would personally have the TV I think on the wall. Yeah, the um, only reason they don't sometimes is because of the heat Yeah. Um, of the fire. But again, it's here in this property. We've got as well, I don't know if you can see, we will put it over us. It's kind of like a wooden flooring um, on the top. Yeah. So it kind of gives it a bit of a feature on the ceiling. And then let's come back here. We've got doors out to the courtyard kind of garden. So there's actually doors all around. As the property is basically like a U shape, you can all get out to the courtyard garden from basically anywhere in the house. Yeah, it's like the property's built around the garden in the yeah. center, as the centerpiece. We've got a little bar here. Anybody want some Jack Daniels? But the interior design is lush in this room. What do you guys think? Do you like this style? We'd love to know your thoughts. But that's basically the living room space. We've got a cool table there. And also the floor is called polished concrete. So it's really soft on the feet like kind of a weird feeling it's nice. hard floor it looks kind of like concrete but and it's a lot nicer it being all hard floor again yes. that's something that we like more and i think it suits the property yeah so we've got another door here um and then this is the double high atrium so where i started the tour there was a staircase and there's also another staircase here so there's three bedrooms upstairs and two on the ground floor so you can go either way um, upstairs. But yeah, now coming through here. So this is set up as a study. We've got a window to the left of me here, and then obviously they've got this dark paneled glass desk but you could get another you know double sized bed in here king size yeah it's a big room and it's got the ensuite as yeah. well so if it was a bedroom it'd yeah. be ideal yeah so in here we've got a shower and a large sink and a toilet so yeah ensuite if you want a bedroom downstairs if you'd prefer that that's cool right let's head through to the kitchen so now we're back where we started i'm going to quickly show you the bathroom it's got a dark kind of vibe to it, so. Yeah, it's cool, like tinted yeah. glass, everything. Got matte black fixtures, dark tinted mirror. Kind of reminds me of a really luxury restaurant toilet, you know it what does. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's got that kind of Novikov London yes. restaurant vibe. So this property is actually on the market um, with Fine and Country, Richmond. His name's Sean, if you want to contact him. We'll put his details in the description and it's priced at three and a half million. So obviously the price tag does incorporate how close it is to London. Um, but yeah, we wanted to sh share with you guys what you can get for three and a half million. Yeah, um, just seeing you going through this door, it's really cool. It's like um, a roller door at the yes, top. Yes, I love these doors. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's a super cool feature. And it doesn't take space up in the hallway. Exactly. So a normal door. Obviously it would pull out. Let's see this amazing kitchen then. So this is the kitchen. It goes round into another dining room and living room. So you've got kind of two living spaces in the house. This is the perfect kitchen if you want to start a cooking YouTube channel. Yes, like literally, the yeah. The aesthetic of it, I can just... <laughs> vision like these angles yeah <laughs> it's a proper like kitchen kitchen aid i think it's called worktop yeah like chef style chef style yeah. yeah but it's actually a german kitchen it's 
it's huge isn't it like yeah. you've got all that space in front of you so what's that is that the this okay. is an american okay. fridge freezer Jeez, that's ready yeah we've got the drinks on the nice. go and yeah. you've got a freezer the other side kitchen aid freezer and fridge yes. and they're both uh double double height so what loads and loads of space house. lots of um cupboard space over here this side here we go oh wow we've got lots of water in the cupboards yeah <laughs> And we've got a Miele or Miele oven, depending how you want me to pronounce that. Um, I get lots of comments saying I've pronounced the kitchen appliances wrong. So yeah, this is a coffee machine as well. So you don't need to spend your five pound a day at Starbucks. You can make one <laughs> at home yourself. And what storage space is this side? This is, oh, oh that opens yeah, they go. Yeah. Oh, cool. lots of glasses double height so which way should we go around the Let's island go this way around the island because then okay. i can see the kitchen more okay so we've got a kitchen aid hob griddle sensor it looks very yeah um, it looks high yeah, high end high chef. end doesn't it yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure not exactly how that works yeah. but it's, so it's got like a double zone and a booster in the middle yeah maybe your chefs out there will think that's yeah cool. We're not, we're not experts in the kitchen appliances, but Could this- that be the extractor? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is the one yep, that- press it. Goes up. I remember when we first lifted one of these up and we couldn't get it down for ages, it's <laughs> really, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll see if we can get it. Oh, it's turning on now. <laughs> can turn it off. If you think in a, in a kitchen like this with an island in the middle, yeah. If you didn't have something like that, you'd have to have a huge hanging piece from the yeah, ceiling. It would look great. It would wouldn't it? look great. So, to this side, we've got a wood wood effect. Contrasts well with the dark, dark grey. And I'm obsessed with all the plants. I mean, yeah. I don't know if anybody else loves having plants in their house, but it definitely makes it. And even look what's been left out. Like that's like food. <laughs> and it's cool the way that the kitchen has been built in there i can see you've got six plug sockets yeah. over that side and also lots of different space just again for yeah. cooking appliances spices knives like that knife storage all the way on the right yeah so storage for knives it's really clean looking i love that you can literally hide away yeah things and if um, anyone makes good quality whether it's cars or anything it's the germans so yeah. you know you're going to have good quality kitchen and also if you turn the camera there's a tv up there yeah. so you can be cooking and um, watching maybe watch like a youtube tutorial on how to cook something and then we've got two kitchenaid ovens i mean these definitely look fancy ovens so. yeah they're high quality and yeah. then on the taps just the other side you've got a cooker hot tap there's another plant that's literally taller than yeah. you <laughs> And That's then, cool. this is a little desk, not desk, sorry, a little bar area. Yeah, breakfast bar. You couldn't get it on that side because there's obviously the walkway. So it's good that they've added on to this end, made it a little bigger. Okay, so Matt's gonna show you the rest of the downstairs um, and upstairs too, so you might be getting bored of me. Um, but make sure to subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying the tour. Um, we tour lots of different properties across the UK. Um, so yeah. Now we'll switch. Hey guys, so you're ready to tour the rest of the house. We're gonna go over into the other living space now. So it's like an L shape. You've got the kitchen area that Summer just showed you, and then it comes around to this L shape over here. So the property's just over 2,700 square feet. Feet, not foot. <laughs> so the property's 2,700 square feet, and it is a brand new build as well. So. You've got everything in here you see is brand new, which is cool. So this is an eight seater dining space. So you've got a huge square table here. Really like this light that's hanging down. Yes. That's cool, isn't it? And I love this cabinet behind you with all these little features. Yeah, it just makes it when you've had a good interior designer come in. Yes. I really like that. Another plant area over here with some plug sockets. And then what they've done is because the whole of the ground floor is the polished concrete, they have rugs placed really well to just separate the spaces. So although this is the same floor, you've got a big cream rug here where the table is, and that just kind of makes it feel like its own little area, which is cool. And then throughout the kitchen as well, you've got two big skylights, which let a load of natural light in, as well as the doors, which go out to the courtyard garden as well. So as we come through into the next living space, we have a huge L-shaped sofa. And this is more of a snug area. It feels a bit more cozy than a lot yeah. of the rest of the property. 
which is nice because you've got the big open plan uh, lounge over there and this as a separate one. Again, you've got some nice ambient lighting throughout those two up there and those two there as well. TV on the wall just here and nice sofa which looks out again onto the courtyard garden and you've got doors there, haven't you? Yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the garden. We've got a table and a little plant bed there. Certainly done well to incorporate the in and outdoors lifestyle, like from each different area of the house, you can access directly out there and you'll start to see through the video all the different doors there are, rather than just having a window. Obviously when you've got a door, it lets more light in as well. So coming on through, we have a, another space here, um, which is just kind of connecting the two rooms together because there's a bedroom at the back. It just needs that connecting space. We've just got a, a wardrobe in here and then we've got another door outside there as well. So, so many ways to get outside. So this is one of the two downstairs bedrooms. The other bedroom that Summer showed you at the start is currently as a study, but it's still a good, good double bedroom, really nice size. Yeah. You've got another door. How many doors are there? Yeah, in every room, basically, there's a door outside. And then if I pop this light on, we have the ensuite, which is nice. You've got a standing shower, high quality finish throughout, which is really nice. Got well, your dressing gown ready. <laughs> yep. Actually, I'm not going to put that on. Probably not the best idea. <laughs> and so we've also got these LED down lights, two there and two either side. Um, yeah, don't usually cool. see them, but I quite like that. It's ideal for when you need the toilet or something in the night and you can come in and you don't have to have the big bright light on. So something like that works pretty well. I love this chair as well. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? The pillow's a bit it's falling. It's like a woolly jumper. So yeah, it's, it's woolly, so it's really cute. It's, it's woolly. <laughs> and like a rattan basket. A rattan? <laughs> yeah, it's the, the, the type of material. Okay. But, Cool, so yeah, so that's pretty much the ground floor of this property, but we still need to go upstairs and show you the first floor. So let's go do that now. We've got two staircases, so we'll meet you upstairs. Okay, just before we go upstairs, I um, forgot to mention about the uh, utility here as well. So just off the kitchen, you've got a utility space, which is still a really nice size. Um, good quality appliances and you've got a tab in here as well, but just good to have all your storage. And then you also got here a washer, uh, Miele washer and dryer as well. Yeah. Right, let's check out upstairs. So these as well, these little uh, square holes that you can see throughout the whole staircase as someone nearly falls downstairs <laughs> are actually lights as well. So again, down lights when you're coming down the stairs, which would be really nice. So first off, this is probably the second largest bedroom in the property in terms of upstairs. So you've got a big window over to this side, letting in a load of light. We've got custom built wardrobes through here with a gray and wood combination, which is nice. Hanging rails and then shelves at the top. As you can see through there, that goes all the way across the room up to around here. And yeah, good size double bed. Um, although you've got a slight slope here, most of the room that you're gonna use, you're not really gonna notice that. It feels plenty spacious in here at the moment and then a little um, makeup station, TV sockets and everything up there as well. So next up is the main bathroom. So this is really nice finish. Uh, I like the greys, good color combo, everything there. You've got a large vanity sink, the floating toilet, and then a bath with a shower over the top as well with these cool dials in the middle. Okay, so next up is going to be the what bedroom would this be? So we've got one there, two downstairs. Only bedroom five. Only bedroom five, yeah. So bedroom five, so they've currently got a single bed here in the middle. If you really wanted a double bed, you could have one, but it would be pushed up against there. So nice to just have a single room in here. Again, a big window, and you've got the same style uh, fitted wardrobes all the way across the back here. Again, they have um, shelving and hanging rails in as well with lots of plugs, plug sockets, plug, plug. Lots of plug sockets and some down lights as well. So now we're gonna work our way into the master bedroom. So this whole entire space, they've done it quite cleverly really because this could be the master and it has its own staircase. So I know we've just came through what was bedroom five, but you can have that door shut and you don't need to yeah. access it through that way. You've got your very own staircase. So this area has the same style fitted 
wardrobes, but this has its own space. So it would be like a dressing area. Mm -hmm. On the left hand side of me is the ensuite. So you've got a huge vanity unit here with a big Ooh. circular mirror. And I really like these tiles here. It's that polished feel again. Yeah, it's nice. Again, big on this side. What's cool about this shower is you can open it up. It's a really good size and actually has a seat. So you can hop in the shower. No and way. You set down, which is cool. And yeah, so you've got a big, big standing shower, really spacious in here. This is a huge sink. It would be better if there was maybe two sinks. Nice if they're dual sinks, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because there is space probably for two. Cool, yeah. And so then moving forward, you've kind of got this area here, this landing area with a lovely plant again and a glass section here which overlooks out to the front courtyard uh, which is nice you can see your garden area you've got a nice light fitting here as well and this just separates your dressing area and ensuite to to your bedroom and this is the staircase that summer showed you earlier so this is just from the office so that works quite well you know if you work in the office in the evening you can come straight up this other staircase into the bedroom area um, and so you can access then directly in to your master bedroom this is the master bedroom um, or the principal bedroom sorry Really good size, double bedroom. Um, yeah, really spacious. You've got lighting throughout everywhere. Big TV on the wall. And again, a huge window over to the right hand side of me here, letting in loads of light. And again, that looks onto the courtyard. So let's go um, show you guys outside now. We're outside of the property now. So you access it um, along a private road and you've got these electric gates here as well. So they both open um, electrically. You've got a fob entry uh, and then they open like that. And then coming through, you can actually start to see the property in the background. So really nice aesthetic. And so you've got a parking area over there and then a small seating area over here. The wind has actually just blown a few of the pillows off and apologies for the sounds near the end here. If the wind, if you can hear that quite loud. And then over here, we've got a, a designed flower bed which is really nice. That just gives it that luxury feel. And it's got lighting all the way throughout as well. And then over here, we have a big eight seater table as well that you can enjoy eating outside and also speakers around and your CCTV system as well. So obviously it's not a huge space outside, but for London and to be this near central, just have some outside space. It's gonna suit someone who doesn't want a huge garden, just wants somewhere to come outside. You can still enjoy the sun. So yeah, nice space. So hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this property. We're touring loads of amazing homes. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Dunk. I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high Floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't